Hello everyone, this is Deaga, and today we're going for quite a doozy. So Apex Diablos and an afflicted Diablos in the Forlorn Arena. Or Tower, if you're an old guy. The quest starts out with Apex Diablos, which is the one with the less HP, but more, more, much more threatening in my opinion. Here I want to engage the Apex from the tip of its tail, so I can counter its roar and hit its face. Just like that. I kinda messed up there, I could have changed scrolls before countering. I just got distracted and forgot about that, so I just changed the scrolls later. I'm running a little file, so it's all fine. Here the ZSD was safe because it's not enraged. If it's enraged, that's quite scary because damage goes up and there's a serious risk of dying there. My goal here is to break a single horn. Uh, Apex Diablo's weakest spot is its head. So into break a horn and I'm running Blood Awakening, so that'll be helpful. Bear face away from it. So the second counter hit can hit the face and I can hopefully try to just its face, but this Diablo's a bit too big, so I'm pretty fail instead. But that's kinda good, I might have died if I went to its face. I didn't notice I was out of gate, so I did a mega reload there. And I'm running Defiance 5, so I could tank the rower just fine. After this, the hip check has a lingering hitbox, so it's kinda annoying to row through, but I would do that during the run as well. It's a bit too slow on the counter there, but Intrepid Heart saved me. But <laughs> no bar fun game, right? Gotta heal up and get back into action. So yeah, just focusing on the head. Its tail tip is also a great elemental weak spot and raw weak spot as well, but the tail tip has the problem that it goes away once you cut the tail. So that's why I want to focus on getting a horn break to get Blood Awakening going. Unfortunately for Diablos, it's much easier to just stay under it. So that's a problem. I rolled way too early on the tail slam there. You have to just be brave and not get scared by the initial horn thrust Diablos does that usually misses you and then roll super late to dodge the tail attack. So since it's down we can do two full morph loops, a double slash and then ZS did space when it's scratching the horns on the ground just like that. That's a lot of damage on the head. Raining Defiance so the roar doesn't affect me, can reposition and counter it. If I didn't have wire buzz then I'd just use the get out of the way maneuver. Think advantage of the bug and healing and back into action. Yes, I struggle quite a lot <laughs> chasing its head as you can see, so that's a bit annoying. For the normal Diablos you want to hit the uh, abdomen, so that's much easier to do it. And charges away to go right back. So yeah, I countered a bit too early because if it kept charging then that would be good timing to try and hit the head. I hate this attack because it's just a time waster, like it just misses the hard throws, it never hits. And just makes me hit the valley, which is quite annoying. Okay, I can't forget. Got a hard break, so we can get the blood awakening going. I wanted to just do the head there, but I missed because I don't know how to wank basically. That. We got the first level of Blood Awakening going, no notification for the second one, so I just have to keep hitting the head. It's good because we also got healing, so yay, that's nice. Once again, this is an annoying move, it just misses. How does it exist? There you counter. And got a meaty heat on the head there. Punch it out of rage mode. And once again, we can do two full rotations, and then a double slash into ZSD. Normal Diablos spawn, so that's just why I'm running Defiance. It's for when you have the two Diablos going on at the same time. It can get quite annoying for the rowers, and you need Defiance 5 to block the Apex's rower. So that's why I'm running it. It's just for this part. And Defiance protected for that rower allowed me to dodge this. 
<laughs> that got too distracted by the Apex. You have to keep an eye on both of them, that was my fault. We get out of here. Right here. And I just want to kill the Apex as soon as possible. And then it gets easier. The normal Diablos is much easier. So once you get past this, it's just cruising into the end. And having them both at the same side like that is very helpful. Nice counter on the Apex's charge there. Stopped the normal one from digging, so that was nice. No more playing around, gotta heal. Don't want to die. <coughs> Yeah, this is quite chaotic. Uh, it's hard dealing with two monsters at once, but I just gonna say, right? So, you can see the normal Diablos is digging and it's enraged. It's going to do the catapult dig. I was just searching for it, I didn't notice where it was going, so that was quite lucky that it flew over me. That was what I wanted to do, but not what I was actually doing, because I lost track of that. So that was a lucky break. Here I go for the ZSD, because I'm at full health, so I figure I can survive that, and then the Apex just dies, so that's nice. I just have the normal Afflicted Diablos to do with. And then it gets much easier. The Afflicted Diablos has much higher health. It's the main target of the special investigation, after all. But afflicted monsters tend to be the easier parts of multi-monster quests. Because they give you blood light and that's just health on them. So ready to counter the catapult dig there. Now they have a single target, so it's very easy to counter. So yeah, punch the affliction out of him. And then this is just the boring part of the quest, where you just bully the normal Diablos until it gets mad again. So yeah, this is just bully. But not much to say. Deb Delmans both the elemental weak spot and the raw weak spot. So you can see the fire burst that are actually in the abdomen hit really high, like 180 damage. And I met just white sharpness. So here I'm just waiting for it to do some move where it gets away and then I can sharpen, just like this. So I couldn't really punish that, so I can just resharpen. Counter this. Loads of damage on that abdomen. And you can break the back from hitting the abdomen as well. So that will be helpful to get healing from Blood Right and then activate Blood Awakening without having to get hit for Blood Light. But if you get hit, then we got Blood Light and that's helpful. I dodged the rower there, I didn't need to, but I wanted to get the Blade Scale on Proc and I did it. So yay. I had ready the counter ready, so I can counter the dig, which was nice. But then I cannot counter the catapult. So I just let it fly over me and then punish. <coughs> and the hip check there. I'm running Vade Window 4 as usual because of my Vade Charm, so that helps a lot of the lingering hitbox. Once again, the annoying move, but the normal Diablo tends to just do one rather than two, so it's a bit less annoying. Usually does just one tail spin rather than two and then follows up, so we have to be ready for, for example, this big slam attack. Which is kind of just an opening, really, <laughs> with all the counters we have in Master Ray. So yeah, that's going to be a common side where Diablo just starts heading up the huge headbutt and they're just going to counter stance and sure, go ahead. Went a bit too slow into counter stance here though, but here's again. Has land, so yeah, go ahead man, do it. I dare you. Exploded him and once again just bullying. So yay, bullying. Rachel hit the belly when it's knocked down is a bit annoying though, like you usually just hit the lag with the fire bursts. So that's a bit annoying. When it stands up it's easier to get them. Look at that, 195 fire damage. That's really high. So yeah, I wanted to dodge that, but I didn't, but in crafted hard saved me. Once again, I wanted to have ready a counter to charge or anything, so I guess I just sit in the counter there for a while, but it's okay. You just counter that head smash. Loads of recoil damage from head smashing, right? Spoken and fans get it. Yeah, dodge too soon there on the hip check. 
So you're lower and you're back at full health. Because of blood wide and blood right at the same time. It's going to dig and it's enraged, so it's the catapult dead. Ready a counter and counter it. Easy peasy. Nice dead, blade scale cross, that's always nice. Getting the head up means you go into counter stance and you show him who's the boss. This is kind of scary as they barely survive. So yeah, as I said for the Apex one, when they're enraged, this is quite dangerous. That applies for the normal Diablos as well. But with Blood Riot and Blood Live, you could survive that and back at full health already. Once again, riding the counter. But this time I was a bit too far away. I thought it would counter the headbutt there. Couldn't, but hey, this beat's getting hit, right? Once again, here comes the head smash. And there's the recoil damage. Throw this, no blade scale, always very sad. I thought I was under the abdomen, so that wouldn't hit me. Clearly I was wrong. And now more bullying. Yeah, it's also monsters. I actually quite dislike this about afflicted monsters. I wish they'd go into their normal state when you punch the affliction out of them rather than exhausted. Because exhausted monsters are just kind of boring, you know. Just bully them. So, yay, Hazmash and Recoil. And it went far away, so we can resharpen, and got back into that tasty purple sharpness. I rolled, I don't know why I rolled, like, even Blade Scale activated, like, I was at full sharpness, so that is unnecessary. Remember, I'm running Defiance. No bugs here, so I have to use the get out of the way maneuver. But it's fine, you just get out of the way. Another Catapult dig incoming. So I'm very close, I thought maybe the wall would hold it there, that's my counter, but it just flew past me. Okay, that's a chance to get an extra bug, and back into business. I was too slow there, that was just my bad, but okay, rapid hard save the day once again. So I wanted to counter that, but I decided to do the hard effect that never hits, oh well. Wait for the tail and then counter. If you try to counter the horn attack, we just miss. Uh, that's going to be right wall. So, yeah, this is a little more damage when you get right going. And for my simple rules, I allow myself to use the bugs on the walls because I make the rules and do whatever I want. I went for the first for the ice ones and the thunder ones because thunder blight is broken. So yeah, it's Dawn and Thunder Blighted, that's why I'm going for your head, I want you to get that KO. Uh, instead I exploded the Affliction, but then you just keep hitting the head to get that KO. So this is like bowling within bowling, right? It's exhausted and KO'd, and this is just cruelty at this point. And it's dead, so the cruelty is over. It's the final time, 40 minutes and 2 seconds. I'm getting sub 14 would be cool, right? But I'm tired of attempting this. I'm not that big of a Diablos fan. I mostly ran this quest to annoy Sir Dalamadur and Monster Hunter. So yeah, go, go go follow these guys as well. They're cool, they're cool guys. But I wanted to annoy them because they're the Diablos fans. So I ran this. This is kind of my usual damage set, except I dropped some attack boost levels for Defiance 5. As I said before, this is mostly for the part where the two Diablos are going on at the same time. That's quite scary. I posted a lot of clips on Twitter of me dying in funny ways. So that was those were mostly before I started running Defiance 5. Went on full DPS mode. 
And I'm sure you can go full DPS and get good and deal with it. But that's too inconsistent for my liking. So yeah, yeah, I think I can lose like 10 damage per hit and run Defiance 5 and just not bother with the rowers. Because when they're both at the same time and both can rower that, that's quite hard to do with. So yeah, Defiance 5, no matter for this one quest specifically, maybe. <laughs> and as usual, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya! Bye-bye!